Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Amanda. In today's 2022 winter trends video, I'm basically just gonna be showing you guys all of the top 10 winter fashion trends that I've seen different retailers selling, different outfit inspo pictures that I've seen on Pinterest and Instagram, and I will also link some similar items down below where you can shop those items if you feel like it. And I figured that since the fall trends video did so well, why not do a winter one? So let's get started. The first trend that I'm going to talk about is pops of color. We talked about this in the fall trends video also, but it is continuing into winter, hence why I'm wearing my new green wool like knit top matching cardigan set thing that I just got from Zara. If you guys haven't seen this before, then go check out my last video because I shared all the details to it in that video. Green is not going anywhere and this shade of green is my absolute favorite, so I knew I had to pull it out for this video. But we are definitely seeing pops of color continue into the winter fashion trends. And that's definitely evident by seeing different retailers selling knit cardigans and knit sweaters in bright colors and colorful patterns and things like that. So I definitely think that pops of color going into winter is okay. Even if you're a neutral girl, something like this is earthy, so it still feels a little safe because it's earthy and natural. The next biggest fashion trend that I have noticed, and it's not something new, but it's definitely very big this year, are long coats. I think if you're in a very cold climate, long coats are something that's just normal, everyday wear for a winter day. But I definitely see that there are a lot more long coats on the market, even some bright colored long coats. I've seen a lot of beige and kind of wooly textured ones, boucle textured ones. Having a long coat in your wardrobe is definitely useful, even for me, even though I live in a hot climate. It's cold here in the morning and at night for sure, so having a long coat you can even wear in a warm climate because you will need it at some point. They're great for workwear. They're a great way to look really nice in the winter when it's very cold because you can just layer it up, wear some thick sweaters underneath and some fleece lined pants, things like that, and you still look stylish in the winter. My particular favorite kind of long coat is a nice beige, kind of cooler tone beige. I think that those are stunning. And with all of the black items that I wear, it's really nice to throw something beige on the top and give it a little bit of contrast. Something that I think looks really great with the long coat trend are knee-high boots, which are huge this year. I think knee-high boots are pretty popular every fall and winter, but I think the knee-high boot trend for this winter is a little bit more sleek, a little bit more modern, a little bit more minimal. So I'd say that that is a little bit more of a twist on it. Um, in past years, I've noticed a lot of pattern, a lot of different colors. This year, I've noticed everything to be kind of clean line, not too patterned, and simple colors. A new trend that I'm seeing that I don't ever remember seeing before are cargo faux leather pants. Now, cargos obviously have been huge for the past summer and fall and they're everywhere in every kind of thing that you can imagine, pants, skirts, everything. But a new one that I noticed is the faux leather version of them, and I did actually try on a pair of these from Zara in my last vlog. If you saw that, you would have seen that I tried on these really deep green faux leather cargo pants, and they're like a straight leg. I wouldn't say they're wide leg, but I think that they were so flattering, they were true to size. So I will definitely link those down below and show you some pictures here. And I've been seeing them everywhere on Instagram, on Pinterest. These are like the cool pants of winter. Another thing that's really been sticking out to me are cropped jackets. I haven't seen as much of an in-between length from long and cropped, but I've seen a lot of very long and a lot of really cropped. Um, I've seen some stunning cropped jackets this year. Zara in particular has several really nice Borg lined crop jackets. Also aviator crop style jackets and things like that. So very cropped is super popular this year. And if you guys know me by now, you know I love a cropped jacket. I'm curvy and I feel like cropped jackets are the best, most flattering shape on me other than a really long coat. The only thing to be careful of with crop jackets is to make sure you get the right crop for your body. If you have a shorter torso, a higher crop is probably gonna look better on you, depending, obviously. 
So wherever the jacket crops off at is where the eye is gonna be drawn. So if you have a crop jacket that doesn't really hit you in the right place, it may not be as flattering. Um, for me, I like it to be right in the center of my torso because that's the smallest point. So keep an eye out for those when you're looking at crop jackets. And along with crop jackets, of course, are cropped knit sweaters. I've seen so many really cute sort of cable knit cropped sweaters. A lot of also v-neck cropped sweaters uh, with the little flap in the back, kind of like that striped one that I have from Zara. You guys have been seeing me wear a lot. The v-neck and the cropped sweaters are everywhere and I'm here for it. I love the v-neck. I feel like it's very flattering. It elongates you. Some people that I've actually gotten inspo from on the cropped sweaters, number one is Naomi Boyer. If you're not following her already, you definitely should. Um, she has an amazing style. She showed some of these really beautiful cropped sweaters. Some are from Oakenfort. Um, I'm obsessed with them and I want a couple of those. So I'll link those down below too. An item that I don't have that I have been seeing everywhere are a matching skirt and top knitwear or sort of sweater style matching sets. I've seen several of them on Zara, several on H&M and other places, probably Mango too. But I think that the long pencil skirt with the matching cropped sweater or matching top, whatever, are very big this year. They were probably big last year, but they're very cute with knee-high boots. So again, the knee-high boots are coming into almost every one of these trends. Moving on to something that I'm sure all of you guys have seen all over your Explorer page and Pinterest are Uggs. I do not have a pair of Uggs, but I think that they're very cute. I think the popular ones this year are definitely the shorter mini Uggs, Tasman Uggs, things like that. There's some really cute outfits that I've seen girls put together. They are, I'm pretty sure they're really hard to get a hold of, so if I can find any, I'll link them down below, but they are very cute, and people are styling them with athletic wear, jeans, really anything you can think of, and I'm here for it. I think they're cute. I'm on the fence about this one. Um, cowboy boots. I feel like they look really cute. I feel like they look really good on some people. I just don't know how I would feel about them on me. I think they can either lean very Western, obviously because they're cowboy boots, or they can lean pretty edgy. But um, someone that I've seen do it very well, again, is Naomi Boyer. So if you go to her Instagram, you'll see her wearing different style cowboy boots in her little reels. She has some white ones, some black ones and she pairs them in such a cool, effortless way. So if you're someone who's on the fence about those and you wanna see how people style them, I suggest checking out Naomi Boyer. Half zip sweaters. I've been seeing these ribbed knit half zip sweaters everywhere. Um, and, I, and I love this trend because I'm not a super like, I get, I don't like the feeling of having everything closed in up here, like with a turtleneck or a high neck. Some high necks are okay, but I love the idea of zipping down a knit sweater because I feel like too claustrophobic. So I think a zip sweater is great. I also think it's way more flattering because again, you have that long line going down, so it elongates you. They're also really cool if you zip them up and you need that coverage for your neck. I've seen some really beautiful ones in solid colors, in striped colors, so a half zip is definitely the way to go for me. I've noticed these really long A-line skirts on Zara's website lately, and I'm on the fence about it, but I feel like they look really good on some people, and I think that they're a good layering piece for looking feminine in kind of a winter wear, setting. So I've noticed a lot of very long, not maxi, but like past your knee length kind of A-line skirts. A lot of them have buttons up the front. Uh, I think that that shape is also really flattering. They look really good with knee-high boots. Again, coming in clutch with the knee-high boots. I don't know if I'm going to be trying this, but I definitely would wear this if I was in a work setting. So if you are working in the office, I think these long A-line skirts are a really nice way to go for you to get your wear out of your knee-high boots and feel feminine but still warm during the winter. And we have another Zara haul coming up because I can't seem to stay off their website. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you haven't already to get notified when I upload that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.
overnight. Out of sight, you magnified your.